Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm doing a video on showing you how I make this card. Now this is a collaboration with Donna Hobson from the Dragonflies Creation. We're doing a collaboration on making anything using new product from the August to December mini catalog. And this is what I came up with. Now the products that I'm going to be using. Let me go over the. Uh, let me just bring the pile in. It's probably easier. All right. Set this piece aside. I'll show you in here. I'm using the dies spe special day that coordinate with um, special someone stamp set. I'm using this grass and that's in the annual catalog and I'm using three products from uh, the August to December mini and I can actually open it now I'm using the brushed metallic 12 by 12 cardstock it's found on page 45 this is a dies mostly card and I'm using the poinsettia dies on page 16. Then I'm using the um, Autumn Goodness mostly dies, but I am going to use this stamp and this sentiment from Autumn Goodness. So I'm using the Autumn Goodness bundle. Okay, and that is on page 48. You probably couldn't see that, it was off camera. I'm using this stamp for the inside of my card, this sentiment, and I'm using a bunch of the dies. Okay, so these are the points out of dies, minus the ones I'm using. Autumn Goodness Bundle, and the uh, Autumn Wheelbarrow Dies. This is the brushed metallic paper. It's awesome. There's three different colors in here. Oops, if I can get it to slide down. There's the third one. Okay. There we go. There's a light brush gold. There's like a more coppery, brighter brush gold, and then the coppery. Okay. So, let's bring this in. We're going to need a scrap of the, um, this is the lighter of the brushed metals. We're going to need a scrap of Daffodil Delight, um, a scrap of Pear Pizzazz, and a scrap of Soft Suede. Then I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of the, um, in color collection of the 6x6 designer series paper. It's 4 by 5 and a quarter. I have a piece of the brush metallic, which is 5 and a half by 4 and a quarter. And just so I'm not wasting any, I cut out the middle. Now you can use this to cut out your parts, but I just used the little piece. And this is with it, so I. I have my five and a half by eight and a half piece of thick whisper white. It's scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then these are the pieces. Um, I'm also going to need a two by five and a quarter inch, inch piece of pear pizzazz and a one half by five and a quarter inch piece of pear pizzazz. And with that, I'm cutting out this grass from special days. Now on this larger one, I just measured down, uh, let's see, I'll put it, actually put it on the grid and you can see. It's like half an inch. started about half an inch where the die is. 
there's no right or wrong I just want a higher edge and I'm going to be using both pieces of this and then this one I just cut in half I just needed this piece to be about the same as this piece maybe a okay so let's put those aside I only need three of the pieces of it but there's four of them okay out of my um, Daffodil Delight, I cut out six of these poinsettia dies. I cut out six of those from my Daffodil Delight scrap. From my foil scrap, I cut out three of these centers. And I do want to point out there's two different centers in there. This one actually cuts out the little circles out of the center of it. And this one just embosses them. So I did the one that embosses them. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here so I don't lose it. I'll just do that with these as well. Okay, so just for the sake of speed, I've already cut everything out. All right, now out of the same poinsettia set, there's this die here. And I cut a piece of out of that scrap of pear pizzazz. And then I took my snips, I cut it in half, and then I, I cut so that one of these other leaves was separate. So there's just two little snips out of this die here. Okay. Then also out of that foil paper, I cut out this wheel from the wheelbarrow. Then, out of the soft suede scrap, so we're done with this scrap, that's what we cut this out of, this we cut the wheelbarrow out of, I cut this wheelbarrow, now there's two wheelbarrows also, there's this one that I used, which cuts and embosses on the paper, and then there's this one, which cuts out the stamped image um, from the stamp set. They are slightly different, so they're even shaped a little bit differently. So I chose to use the one that just cuts and embosses the paper. Okay. And that's right here. Well, let's start assembling this. The first thing I'm going to do is take my brushed metallic piece that I've cut the center out of just to save paper, and I'm going to adhere that to the front of my uh, card base. Uh, it's exactly the same size as the front of the card. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Tombow Model glue. The only ink pad I'm using is Memento, and that's to stamp my sentiment. to the front of the card. Okay, so we can put that aside. Let's go ahead and assemble our, our um, flowers. Now I've already put glue dots on the back of four of them, and then two of them I put dimensionals on the back. So I'm just going to take the ones with the blue dots, take one with the dimensional, and I'm just going to stagger the uh, petals so that it looks like a uh, sunflower. Then I'm going to take one of these centers that I also have a glue dot on the back, and I'm going to put that right in the center of that. Now I'm going to do that for two of them, because two of them have the dimensional on the back. You could use your wet glue here. I just chose to use the glue dot, so it's just a little bit 
less fiddly. Now I'm going to just puff up these top uh, petals just a little bit. Now the remaining two are both on glue dots. So that one's going to get glued directly to the card and it's not going to get popped up. So we're just going to stack those together, stack the center on, pop up those little petals just a little bit to give it a little bit of dimension and that one's ready as well. Okay, so we're only going to use one set of the two um, and one of the single. This, one, this piece we're not going to be using and these are going to become leaves. I've also tied a bow with the uh, braided linen trim and there's a glue dot on the back of that as well. So let's go ahead and try to assemble this card. Push these out of the way just a little bit, so well, let me just move it over here. Because I, I need to uh, stamp a sentiment on here. Another pad. I've got Plant Kindness, Harvest Love, from that uh, stamp set. From the Autumn Goodness, right here. I'll ink that up with the memento. I'm gonna stamp this over here in this top. It's about a half an inch from the top, half an inch from the left side. just want to hold it there so that I make sure I get a good stamped in impression. Good. Alright. What I'm going to bring in, since I've got the ink out, my card base. And I'm going to bring in this stamp, which is this one here. I'll ink that up with the memento as well. And I'm going to stamp that on the inside of my card. You could stamp it here, or you could stamp it up here. For this one, let's stamp it up in the top. Let's be, I need to re-ink my memento pad. I've got a spot that doesn't want to stamp. Let's stamp this one up here. I love this stamp. It stamps so nice and crisp. Look at that. Oh, I just smudged. most of it. Now what I do is when I've sanded it with the rough side, then I like to go in with this other side and smooth it out a little bit. I have to work on it a little bit more. But... Okay, that aside. Okay, now let's bring in this piece. I'm going to bring in these green uh, pieces the grasses. And I'm going to put glue just along the bottom edge. Oops, wrong. That one doesn't want to run today. Along the bottom edge here. I'm going to line the bottom of this up with the bottom of this uh, designer series paper. The reason I'm only putting the glue on the bottom is because I need to tuck one of these up underneath there. Doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to grab one and put a little bit of glue along the back of it. And I'm going to tuck this in. 
behind there. Just adds a little bit of extra dimension. Then I'm going to take this other one and glue it down here again at the bottom edge. wheelbarrow. I'm going to add some dimensionals on the back. Actually, I need a little one. A little one on this wheel. And I've got a little bit of this edge here. And I'm going to just snip a little bit of it. just cut it so that I have a little strip that I can put on this leg. Oh, actually, I want to take this little one off. I forgot. I put it on originally and then I took it off because I liked it better without it. Okay. Let's take the backs off of those. set this right in the center. I want the wheel I've got a blue dot on the back of that. That's going to go right on this, on this little knob here. I want the wheel and this to be um, on this center piece of grass. I'm just going to add a little dab of glue behind that wheel. Tuck this under that grass a little bit, that's fine. Stick that down. Okay, now we're going to bring in our sunflowers. I'm going to put the two with the dimensionals sitting right next to the uh, wheelbarrow just above it. I'll go ahead and stick those down. The one that is um, Got a blue dot, but without the dimensional, it's going to get tucked behind it. Sure they're stuck. Now the two leaves are going to go over on this side over here. Just tuck them in underneath one of the flowers. Make sure you get it underneath. You don't see any of the raw edge. Okay, and this other one will go on this other side. Like that. And then I'm going to bring in my bow. And I'm going to put it up here. Alright. Now we'll bring in our card base. Adhesive to the back of it. And center this on the front of this card. Now it's going to have an eighth of an inch border all the way around because this piece is a quarter inch smaller than the front of the card. There we go. There's the card we just made together. inside flap. Here's the one I did previously. Now if you don't want this to be so blinged out, you could use a darker brown for the center of those, like Early Espresso. This one I stamped on the bottom half. So there you go. There's our card that we just made together. And again, this is a collaboration with Donna Hobson from uh, the Dragonflies creation. It will be uploaded on the 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will link any other collaborators in my description. And I'll try to do a playlist 
added to the end of it. Well, thanks for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.